Alright, I've put together an Excel spreadsheet here that is available on our website, lotsofpips.com, to the members only for our member section. If you have questions about becoming a member, just email me at lotsofpips at gmail.com and we'll see if we can answer some questions there. But let's get into our money management spreadsheet here. First of all, we want to talk about risk. Okay, When we talk about risk, let's look at the uh, risk tolerance sheet that I have. There we go. So this is a risk tolerance calculator. Um, basically what we do is we plug in a starting balance up here and this chart shows us what a series of consecutive losses can do to your account at different risk levels. So you can play with and try different risk amounts in here. Basically you just plug in the number and let's say we start with a $10,000 account and let's say you have Worst case scenario is you'll have uh, 10 losses in a row. Okay, So if you started with a $10,000 count and we're risking 2% per trade, so in other words, 10,000, 2%, that's $200 on your first trade. Okay, If you consecutively lost 2% 10 times in a row, you would be still over 80% of your account positive. Okay, So your 2% would only yield you a loss of about 19% if you had 10 in a row. Now some people you've heard that say that well if you risk 2% you can have 50 trades in a row and still have more than half your account. Uh, that's not accurate. Actually you'd be about below half your account at 30 you're on your 35th trade in a row. Now I tell this to people I say if you have 35 losing trades in a row then you have other problems. Um, so we need to you need to take care of those as well. But determining your risk tolerance percentage is very important. Now, when anybody's demo trading, it's very easy to just you know shoot at the wind and try whatever, and see what happens. However, when you're trading on a live account, I would recommend you be very conservative as you start out. There's a big difference between trading on a live account versus trading on a demo account. I usually recommend people stick between you no know, one to five percent in their whole career as a trader as far as risk per trade. That means that once you really have a good idea what you're doing, a good system, you've tested it, you're very confident, you're very sure um, that you've got a very you know consistent system, then you can be up around 5% risk on your trades. Um, if you're starting out live, I'd recommend you play with some small lots, even as far as just to trade one mini lot or even trade micro lots. That's going to depend on your account size. So here's what we do. If we look at the comparison between 2% and 5%, okay, let's go to 1% and 5%. Okay, so at 1%, we're risking, with $10,000 balance, we're risking $100 per trade, and 5%, we're risking $500 per trade. If we have 10 losses in a row, we still have more than 90% of our account. If we have 10 lo on 1%, if we have 10 losses in a row, we still have almost 60% of our account left. Quite a bit of difference between 1% and 5%. Now obviously if you are risking 1% and 5% you are hope you know if you're risking more then you're hoping to gain more on the wins and that's where greed will come in and try to get you to increase the number of lots you trade to get you to win more. Now let's look at an income calculator. Now this simply goes and says, you know, if you were to make 10% per month, what would that be? Well, we just count out the months. The first month, you'd turn 10,000 10, into 11,000, and after 10 months,